2017 CFDA Vogue Fashion Fun winner is. When you think of fast food, you don't exactly think high fashion, but that could be changing. White Castle launched a nine-piece collaboration with the upscale brand Telfar. Telfar, Telfar. Telfar. If you crave good food and you crave good fashion, there's a place where you can see both. And you guys have new uniforms, and they were designed by the world-famous Telfar. New York Fashion Week kicks off tomorrow, and some of the hottest designs might just be headed to... White Castle restaurants? What? Well, White Castle is known for its sliders, but the hamburger chain is also making headlines for its new employee uniforms. White Castle and New York fashion label Telfar plan to continue the partnership beyond the employee uniforms. They're going to have a streetwear collection and a launch event. We had all our permits for this. We've been working on it for six months. Uh, and the day after we announced our charity, the NYPD intervened. My parents have been in this, they moved into this apartment the week I was born. I, I hold the stash. I basically live in my aunt's closet. One of our producers went there to drop off a $75 check. He got in the room and there was like 15 officers in there. The precinct chief, the borough commander. What means the world to you? My money, my dough, my hoes, my clothes. I used to be an altar boy. I think so. She's Afro-Latina. How are you feeling about today? Um... You know, we don't want it to feel like sponsorship, so we're just like, can you give 100% mm -hmm. of your proceeds to pay bail? Since we had to change the venue, I'm like, it might be a really long time in between. I'm like, should I DJ? People I can't believe my dad wants to go get his nails done. He's like, I'm going to get my nails and my toes. <laughs> Rikers Island has a population of about 15,000. Over 80% of those people are innocent. When I didn't used to have to get up so early, I used to leave the house by 2 o'clock. I know the guy across the hall because like, there's so many times where I like have like either lost my keys or just been <laughs> too drunk to open the door. The event was to support liberty and justice, and I feel like that had a direct correlation with why this did not happen. It should be good today. It's like really unfortunate we couldn't do it here. Yeah. Like, I wanted to walk, you know, do walk the down the street. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And also just have this neighborhood. Yeah. And involved in the party. I've been here for like four years now. Yeah. Nice Haven't unpacked anything. Book bag. <sighs> These are all my images that exist, basically. This is the first runway show. Uh, these images, maybe I'll lay them out on the table. This nipple ring chain for this guy. Is that a KY Jelly t-shirt? Uh-huh, oh my god, yes! Wait, did you design that? Yeah, it was like remade t-shirts and like... It was like the first out of fabric thing that I was making. I didn't know how to make anything, so it was just like layering fabrics on top of fabrics on top of fabrics. And then kind of figuring things out. But this is like what started to sell. And what I realized, kind of like the direction more of like what I wanted the clothes to look like. Like I didn't want it to necessarily be something that you could find. It's like, what's the point of me making something that exists? I was making clothes for myself. It's like, at the end of the day, I was wearing that day in and day out. If I thought I was trying to sell it to someone, I would try to sell it on a female so that they wouldn't question who is going to wear that. Towards when I started meeting a group of gay men that also thought the same way, that made me also be like, no, that's who's going to buy it. my lookbook that I was taking around to like atrium and like stores like that to try to get them to buy them. And they actually wanted to buy this bag. <laughs> this was shot on this terrace. My cousin used to model a lot of this stuff. And she's also just willing to try whatever, you know, like she's like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll put that on. I'll try that. <laughs> I could never live up.
I thought that this, that was Disney World when I was like little, because I remember like. I remember one time I why I couldn't go to Disney World for some reason. I think I got like the chicken pox or something, so my family went. And I stayed out there. Like, They're just right there and I could go. All the stuff from this area is like from the World Fair that would happen. Also this area specifically too is like super just like mixed. I read as the most diverse neighborhood in the US. Part of the project that we're doing is like really based on showing people the full circle day in my life and what I see on a daily basis, which was like bringing the fashion art party to my neighborhood, you know? I've never been to a block party or anything like that in my neighborhood, so it was just supposed to be super special. Oh my god, look at this dress that I'm in. Hey! Hey! What's it like living with Telfa? Well, Telfa is good. <laughs> he's, he's the best. It's the indigenous tribe from where, where my father comes from. Telfa, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But he's the only person we have seen with his name. But when I first, when he first spelled the name to me, I kept saying to myself, now what kind of name is that? <laughs> and he says it's spelled T-E-L-F-A-R. So my sister was at the hospital with me, uh -huh. and she said, no, spell it again. Because we thought he had misspelled it, so I left him out. So she said, he said, no, it's T-E-L-F-A-R. Yeah, Telfa always been like me. I like to be dressed up, you know. But I mean, I always like to wear what I want to wear. Like, <laughs> yes, was, yeah. yes, that is like, so true. I, they wouldn't let me wear anything <laughs> I wanted. To. You know, like, so I would change sometimes when I go to school. Uh -huh. I go to school and I change my clothes. Right. <laughs> that, that's what you used to do. Yeah, yeah. remember I, used, I ran into him once coming from middle school. I was driving and I saw Tafa. <laughs> I'm like, Tafa! Oh my God. Yeah. There was a scarf around his hair. What's it like seeing Telfa's name on the news now? Oh, uh, for me, the first time Telfa was future in the public, my sister went to, to Macy's and saw his picture up, you know, and she was so excited. Oh, that's my nephew. The lady in the house said, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> He's always been in Queens. You're and happy here? <laughs> is, she says, like, where your navel strings buried is yeah, where that's when you your find home, home is. Yes. So, so I guess it's in this apartment. I'm just singing about love. I'm just singing about love on a day like today when we're supposed to be in left front. But the NYPD tried to shut us down. Ooh, and I don't know about you, but I stopped eating pork a long time ago. I don't deal with pigs. eating pork a long time ago. I don't know about pigs. There's no way you can shut us down. Kings and queens, we wear a crown. There's no way you can shut If you can do a post, you could put on your crown. If you could go to Essence, you could put on your crown. If you could buy a hoodie, you could put on your crown. If you could buy a tea, you could put on your crown. If you could post a gram, you could put on your crown. If you could come here, you could put on your crown. And why PD try to shut us down? When are you gonna put on your crown? Give it up for the star tell far. Thank you, Telfa. I love you. We love you tonight. The cops will never shut us down.
2017 CFDA Vogue Fashion Fund winner is Telfar. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.